Let's get queer -cated. What's up? What's going on? You know, your girl Ray J coming at you with the next episode. This is episode 16. This is Let's Get Queer Cated, where I, Ray J, educate you about all things queer this month. So hit that subscription button if you're not yet subscribing. Like, share, and comment. Hit that notification bell so every single time a video drop, you will know. It's a little bit breezy over here. It's a nice day. So today's terminology is lesbian and gay. I'll be putting them together. So homosexuality is still the correct terminology, but even though homosexuality is no longer considered immoral, some people feel there are still some negative overtone to the word given its you know origin. So the term gay was initially a slang term you know, develop to overcome some of this negativity that was associated with the word homosexuality, you know? So gay is an adjective that describes people who are physically, romantically, emotionally, and or spiritually attracted to other people of the same gender. In the past, gay specifically referred to men who were attracted to men. But now it is a common word to be, you know, for gay to be used as you know, it's, it's, it's a common word to be used now by anyone who's attracted to their same gender. It's all up to you which word, you know, fits you best. So the definition of lesbian. Lesbianism, also called sapphism or female homosexuality, is the tendency of a female to be emotionally, physically, romantically, spiritually, all of the allies them, attracted to other females. So there are some questions that persons love to ask gay people and using gay as like the common word, right? One, are all gay men effeminate and are all lesbians masculine? So remember in the previous videos, our sexual orientation is very, very different from our gender expression. Although it can seem like there's only one type of gay person because of you know what is shown over and over and over again in the media and in tv shows and stuff gay people aren't automatically effeminate and lesbian women aren't automatically masculine in fact those stereotypes leave out a lot of other personalities and characteristics that you know other people might possess gay and lesbian people are unique individuals just like everyone else and I can express themselves in an infinite number of ways second question is I feel like gay and lesbian people only work in certain types of profession is this true you can find gay and lesbian people in all different types of profession certain stereotypes offer a limited view on what gay people can do for work for example not all gay men are interested in fashion theater arts or you know dancing actually a lot of straight men are doing these jobs likewise not a lot of female are interested in teaching sports and doing construction work or becoming an athlete um same as a lot of persons that are in this job are not gay you know for example I'm a nurse, which wouldn't really be expected because I'm a mask lesbian. So as society becomes more open and accepting, hopefully people will feel more freedom to follow their interests and their passion and explore a wider range of, you know, employment uh, possibilities despite their, you know, sexual orientation or their sexual preference, you know? So equality means more than just passing laws. The struggle is really one in the hearts and minds of the community where it really counts. We deserve to experience love fully, equally, without shame and without compromise. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
if you have not subscribed yet please hit that subscription button hit that notification bell so every single time a video drop you guys will know drop a comment down below i would like to hear you guys opinions your thoughts what you think of the series so far you know all of them all of them something here so tune in tomorrow for the next episode peace